New estimates today show last week's winter storms could cost more than $200 billion across the state, and that's way more money than Hurricane Harvey. Right now, lawmakers are holding two hearings at the Texas Capitol. They're investigating why this all happened. Political reporter Jack Fink, our eyes on. He's in the CBSN studio for us with what happened today. Jack? Well, Doug, the various CEOs of power companies apologized as one state lawmaker cut right to the chase. I want the public to know. Who screwed up? There's plenty of blame to go around. I think the thing was a colossal failure. Kurt Morgan, CEO of Vistra Corporation, the former TXU, is among those who said all aspects of the Texas energy sector failed after widespread power outages forced millions of Texans into the dark without heat and water. Bill Magnus, the CEO of the state's power grid operator, ERCOT, was grilled by state senators for more than five hours. He said as the brutal winter storm slammed the state, power plants kept going offline, and so they had to order retail electric companies to cut off power to their customers in order to prevent a blackout that could have lasted for weeks. I believe the operators uh, on our team did everything they could have in a, in a dramatic, but you very difficult changed. situation. You but today, Governor Abbott blamed ERCOT again for the situation, saying they blew an opportunity to slowly implement rolling outages. Instead, what they did, they delayed their decision-making process about rolling blackouts until they got right to a few minutes before the entire grid crashing, and they did the equivalent of slamming on brakes while driving on ice. Power companies said ERCOT's actions forced their power plants offline. Or what we have found lead us to believe that they were a great disturbance. If they're right, then absolutely we'll, we have to do something because there was something going on that we weren't seeing. The company said that exposed another problem. The industry and state agencies never updated the critical infrastructure list, so power plants were among those that lost power. The CEO said they winterized their plants, but in some cases it wasn't adequate. We had icing on four inches of dry air that should never have icing. Vistra's CEO said this problem will happen again until the state has an integrated and seamless gas and power system, one that's governed by a single regulator, which is not the case now. Doug? We got a lot of work ahead. Uh, Jack, thank you for being our eyes on inside there.